Hello, this is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to review with you today how to import lists for leads and contacts into Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions you have on this subject or any others, any, any others related to Zoho. In addition, be sure to rate this class to help out your fellow Zoho users as well as to help us improve our video library. Here are some of the main points we will be discussing today. When you want to import a list, you can do it either through an Excel file or a CSV file. CSV files should be used for larger, larger lists. The list must include any required fields for the, for the module that you're importing into. And Zoho will map the columns in your list to the fields in Zoho. Now let's take a look here first. Here is a list that I created. And as you can say, see, it has first name, last name, business name, and then some address information and email. Now we're going to be loading this into the lead section. And in that section, the account name and the last name are the required fields. And you can see that we have both of those here. Now let's go into Zoho and see how we do this. So when you're in the home screen, what you want to do is you want to go to leads. And in this case, we're going to be importing some leads. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over towards the right where you have import and you're going to click on import. And it's going to ask you if you want to import leads or notes. In this case, we want to import leads, so we're going to click on leads. And then it gives you the option of you can import leads from a file or from another CRM. Since we're already in Zoho, we're not going to go from another CRM, but we're going to uh, have a file. So we're going to click on browse, and then I'm going to choose the file that I want to um, import. And once you do that, you can see that the lead list has been uploaded, and it's called Sample Lead List. Then you're going to click on Next, and then you have several options. You can up include all of these as new leads. You can include them all as existing leads, or both. What you'll notice is that if we choose as new leads, Zoho then says skip existing leads based on either lead ID or email. So just in case any of the leads in my list are existing leads, you can choose how Zoho can identify which those are. And in this case, we would want to use email because um, we don't have the lead IDs. When you go to the update existing leads only, you also get this checkbox for don't update empty values for existing leads. And you want to determine whether you want to check that or not based on whether you want to update existing leads or not. And there's a little bit more information here uh, when you click the question mark. But if you don't want to overwrite anything, you want to make sure that this is checked. So I'm going to leave this as add new as new leads. I'm going to click next. And then you're going to see that they were Zoho was able to map eight fields, but one they were not. So first name mapped to first name, last name match to last name. Business name became company, which is a field in Zoho. So Zoho has some um, knowledge that it uses to, to try and map the right fields, street to street. And then email, email did not come up. So I'm going to look at the drop down, and you could see, I'm not sure why it didn't come up, but you can select email here. What you can do, there's a few different things you can do here actually as well. You can reset the field mapping. And when you do that, all of your field mapping will be gone. And then you can see that you have to choose which name or which field in Zoho for which field in your file. And you can see when you do a drop down, you're going to see each of the fields that are available in Zoho. And in this case, I can, what I can do is collect, select first name. The other thing you can do is that you can apply auto mapping. When you apply auto mapping, again, it will ask you if this is what you want to do and you say yes, apply auto mapping. And here we're back to the same way we were when we first came into the screen and everything was auto mapped. Um, we have one that was not and that unmapped field is business name. And in this case, Zoho did not use its logic 
but we are able to do company. Um, if you have a situation where you have some new new um, new field in your file that isn't in Zoho, you can always come over here to the right and create a new field for that record for that field in your in your spreadsheet. But for now, we're not going to do that. So we have all nine of our fields mapped, and now we're going to click Next, and then we're going to get a few more questions. We're going to get a question, select lead source to be assigned, and you're going to check which one it was. Was this an employee referral? Is it a cold call? Um, is it a campaign? Is it a trade show? In this case, I'm going to make it employee referral. And then you get to choose the owner. One of the options you could have done in the spreadsheet was include an owner, and that would have been another um, field that would have mapped to a Zoho field. Or what you can do here is you want to assign these owners. You can decide these are our two users within our Zoho. So you can always say you want to assign them all to the, the live gen user, and you can do that. The other way you can assign owners is through assignment rules. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about those now, but you can see that there are some assignment rules that would basically give you rules on if this situation happens, then this is who you assign, and you can go that way as well. For now, I'm going to use it as the users, and I'm going to assign all of these leads to the live gen user. The other thing you can do when you import a, con a task is that you can, uh, I mean, a, a lead, is that you can choose a task for, for if you want to attach it. So you can either say recontact, follow up, call a client, in this case, you could say schedule phone outreach, and then when it when the when these are uploaded, the Zoho uh, the TMG Live Gen user who these are assigned to will have this as a task. You can also put a tag for these for here too. So in this case, this was an employer referral, so maybe we could say Joe's referrals, and that way you can always track these referrals under under Joe. And then another option, which we're not going to do now, is enable manual lead approval if we needed someone to approve these. So in this case, I'm going to hit Finish. And it says it'll be scheduled. This is a short list, so it shouldn't take too long for the leads to be scheduled, to be loaded. And I'm just going to hit Refresh. And now you can see the import status. You can see it popped up that this list has now been added. And now we can go find where these leads are. And if you remember, I don't know. If, I don't know if you noticed before, but the lead count said 34 in the beginning, 31 in the beginning, and now it says 34. So if we go down here. Um, we can here. John John Smith is one of the ones um, that was imported, and you could see there's a task for today saying schedule phone outreach because that's what I put in. And if you open this lead, you could see that Joe's referrals is the tag here. The lead owner is the TMG Live Gen user because that's who I assigned it to, and then the information that was in the field in the uh, spreadsheet will now appear. The other option you have is to import contacts. And you would do the same thing. You can import contacts using the import button, and then you would load the contacts in here as well. So if we import contacts, I did have another spreadsheet for contacts. And now that one has been done as well. And then when I click Next, you can say Add as New Contact, Update Existing, similar to we had before. And then you can say Skip Existing Contacts based on, and you can choose what you want it to do. Now I'm going to click Next again. And then it'll show you that some of the fields were unmapped. Six of them were. So first name matched, last name matched, business name. You would want to map that one to account name and use it by account name. 
street. You would want to choose the mailing street. City would be mailing city. State, we would want to do mailing state. Zip code would be the mailing zip. And then the phone number, we'd want to clarify which phone number it was. For our purposes now, I'm just going to put it as um, other phone. And then again, you have the options for the resetting the fields or the applying the auto. But now you can see up at the top that all of my fields are mapped. Click Next. And here you can assign owner. And you can choose the owner. And I'm going to use, choose the same owner. You can assign tasks if you want. There's no new tasks right now, so I'm not going to do that. And then again, you can hit Finish. This has been scheduled. We have a count you could see of 35 right now. And as soon as this is complete, this was another list of three records. And we will see that the count number will go up. And there you can see import status is done. And now if we refresh the screen, that count number is now at 38. And then we can go and find um, find one of the leads that we put in. Select that that contact and then you can, would be able to go in and see that the information has been populated. And there there you go, contacts is done as well. So if we go back to what it what what we were going to talk about, as you can see, you can easily import in Zoho using Excel or CSV files. And the list needs to include at least the required fields that are in that module. And Zoho will map the columns in your list to the in your list to the fields in Zoho. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or questions about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.